Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D line-based continuous fillet weld, CFW weld. And actually, we are not going to use it just in the project. We are going to use it to create a new families whenever they have welds, like a base plates or steel um, to steel connections and um, all elements that we need to show the weld. So to begin, I'm going to the file menu and on the new selecting on the family. On the English folder, I'm going to look for metric generic model line base because this one is a 3D going to open it so this would be a default length for now I'm going to just change the length to something like a 300 and I'm going to change this scale to 1 to 5 I'm going to just use a zoom I'm going to the 3D one for now I'm also going to tick click on the thin lines so let's go to the back or maybe for left yep so one of these um, left or right is okay so I'm going to create an extrusion and what we need is to create a line in this direction for about six millimeter and a line in this direction again six millimeter and using a start and radius arc i'm going to select this line selecting that line and just creating a six millimeter arc what I'm going to do, I'm going to just to type VI to dimension from this line to this point. I'm going just to leave it there. So I'm going just to click this dimension and um, creating parameter for now instance. And I will name it as weld size. I'm going to click on OK. Let's go back to the modify extrusion and clicking on OK and just changing this course to fine and having this consistent color so we can see what's going on. So if I go to the properties and changing this 6 to let's say 8, what will happen? It's getting bigger which is working perfectly so usually the walls are six millimeter or eight millimeter I will just keep it at six millimeter for now and let's go to the reference level and what we have to do we are going to type a L for a line I'm picking this line then this line I'm locking it and I'm picking this line and this line and locking it. So in this case, if I change the length, it will change the size of the world. So let's save it for now. And I'm going to just save it as a 3D CFW weld going just to have a one backup and on my desktop and save so let's load it to the project and saying that and seeing that if it's working okay so I'm going to the trading again so let's go to the component and CFW 3D CFW weld let's just try to create it here yeah it's working perfect so i'm just going to add some other um, 
parameters to it let's click on it and let's go to the edit family um, let's go to the family categories and parameters and categorize it as a structural connection for now structural connections I'm going just to click on OK and again clicking on the extrusion I'm going to uh, on the material and finishes I'm going just to click on this associate family parameter and I will just create a type of weld material and group parameter under materials and finishes let's click on ok and click on ok so if i go to the family types you will find that the weld material is there so let's just choose i click on these uh, three dots and let's create a new material and let's call it rename it to blue and let's do the shading use render appearance and go to the appearance let's change this color to this blue and click on ok and let's click on apply click on ok and click on ok so if i go to consistent color from this option which is visual style now you can see the world is blue i'm going to save it again let's just load it to the project So here, if I click on this uh, family, you can find the world size. Let's type an exaggerated size like 10. So just uh, getting bigger, which is uh, working perfectly fine. Let's create similar and just create another one like here. let's go to the edit type and seeing that well the world material here is also is blue well let's check that why the blue is not showing as blue so if i click on use render appearance and let's change this color to blue seeing that it's working i'm clicking on ok and ok now it's getting that blue so now we have a a CFW weld which is line based and we can use it in our other um, families that we are going to create in the future videos this is the end of this video and thank you so much for watching